Hi guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Boutique 1973 and I'm doing a little review on a um, product I recently purchased on HSN which was the We Are Memory Keepers Flower Punch Board and I will show you what it looks like. This is it right here and it comes with um, a bone folder and a um, paper curler on the back. And one of my friends, uh, Zoila, asked if I would review it once I'd done something with it. This is my first flower with it. And, you know, it's okay for a first time. I mean, you know, as you work, you will get better. Um, this is actually a big one. This is the um, large sized one which you obviously will see you know it's flat because I didn't cut out any of the petals to make it more dimensional but you could layer this up and also um, I did this one which is the um, yellow one and I did put a couple of leaves but you can't really tell you know because I should have done them in a different color but you know uh, my thing is um, it's got a lot of um, like measurements and you you really need to know your measurements which I'm not really good at that I can tell you what a, a you know a six inch pad is a 12 inch pad is nine inch but when you come into the one and three fours two and five eighths and that kind of stuff I have to get help from my husband because I do not know um, a lot of those measurements so it does make it a little bit harder if you don't know that kind of stuff but um, for the most part, yes, I like it. Uh, it's just going to take getting used to, um, you know, making flowers with it. Everything's a little different. You know, you've just got to practice to get better. My next thing I am totally, totally, totally in love with is I'm going to share with you guys a lot of this stuff that I work on. But... Um, in the past, you've heard me talk about the um, Martha Stewart um, punch that makes the little bows. I love, love, love doing these. And I've done a lot of them. Um, here's like an example of one. They're very small, but they're cute. And I've done some and just not put like the little you know decorative pieces on them um here's more like a um glittery one it's not finished um i've done um here's like a black one i've done like a whole box full of these because i just i love them there's a, another one that's patterned Here's a patterned one also. Um, I've done a green one. Sorry for the glue, guys. I just haven't had time to pick it all off, so just ignore that part of it. Um, another very pretty patterned one. This is like a lace pattern. Um, I've done some of these and I really like these. I think those turned out really cute and pretty. Um, I've done a um, gold. Really like that. I've done a purple. I don't know if you can tell that really good, but that is a purple one. Um, I'm looking to see if I have any more different patterns than this. And yes, here's one I've actually put on a paper clip that I thought was really cute. They they fit right on a paper clip, and that is just I think it's adorable. Here's another one I've done on a paper clip. Really really cute. I like the way they've turned out. 
Okay, um, and I've also got something else. I've been working on things, guys. I just haven't had time to share it. Um, give me just a second, and I will show you some other things. Okay, these are handmade flowers made by me out of um, the um, flower petals. So, this is um, like a ombre green and you could tell it's very puffed up, so I really like that. I've done a different style, one where I folded all of the um, petals. This is another ombre green one, and it's got the little um, tree of life button in the middle. Really like how that turned out. Then um, i done just a flat another tree and I did yellow ones but I'm not as impressed with the yellow as I am the green because it just doesn't really pop as well to me and this one, I don't know why, it just is a little wonky, so I'm not really happy with the way it turned out because of the petals just weren't, they wanted to curl and do funky things, so. Okay, and then on to some bigger bows that I have made using the um, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board, and I really thought these were um, cute, and I've done different these are bigger, of course, um, with different designs. For some reason, I, I just love making all of these different kinds of bows and stuff. This one, I do not have a center in. I've got to get me some more things to use as centers because I really don't have buttons and that kind of stuff um, built up in a collection yet, but, you know, this is, you know, I've, I've got a ton of these as well. And, um, here is my hand at something I was just kind of fooling with. Um, it's a uh, cupcake liner I distressed, and then I put, like, a um, handmade rolled um, flower in the center of it. I don't know if you can tell better. And it's, it's up on a um, pop dot. Just some little something I was trying for, you know, like a decoration type thing. And let's see if I've got anything else besides. No, I think that's it on that. So... Let me see. I, oh, yes. I did try this, and I didn't like the way it turned out. But, um, I'll show you guys. I tried making a coffin box following the Martha Stewart template. And mine didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. Like I say, this was just a work in progress. And this um, skeleton I glued in with hot glue to, um, you know, put something in there. And then here is the coffin lid. And the um, skeleton I got from the Dollar Tree, um, they were having um, skeleton garlands. That's what I got that from. And I just cut it off and put it inside the box. So, um, I hope you guys like that little share and the uh, review on the punch board. And um, I'll be coming back with a couple of projects that I'm working on. So, I will see you shortly. Bye, guys.